Hey everyone, I'm Mac Boucher from Team TaylorMade. Today we're gonna to go over the new High Toe 4 wedges. Uh, really excited about these. They're available in five different grinds. We're gonna go over which grind I chose today and some different shots that I use around the green. Okay, so I've decided to choose the ATX grind. This is probably the most versatile in my opinion. Because I travel so much, I'm always exposed to different turf conditions, soft, firm, tight lies, longer rough. Um, so instead of changing out my wedge based on where I am in the world, I want a wedge that can travel with me. So there was two grinds, the ATX and the ATS. Those two are probably the best for firm and soft conditions. Uh, but this one, because of the three shelves uh, of different grinds, you have the heel relief, middle relief, as well as the leading edge relief, it gives me just a ton of shots I can hit. So I'm gonna go over three little shots that I like to play with this wedge. Uh, starting off with just like a little basic bump and run. This is probably uh, the shot I use the most for shots around the green where I don't need to go over a bunker and need to get the ball up in the air. It's gonna come in nice and low, kind of skid and put on the brakes pretty quick. So to do that, I'm gonna have my hands forward, feeling like I'm lined up with that kind of front thigh, handle nice forward, club face feeling like it's square to target, and the ball position is gonna be pretty close to my back foot. From there, just gonna hinge, hold that position, and let it release to the hole. Okay, so that's a shot that I'm gonna use probably the most when I'm around the green, just a little bump and run, can't go wrong with that. Okay, so we have a little longer shot in this next one here. I'm gonna play just a traditional kind of pitch and run from the rough. Something I really like about this wedge, they've also added spin treads for a little extra spin. So obviously coming from the rough, you're not gonna generally be able to spin the golf ball that much, but when it's sitting up in the rough here, we should still be able to get a little bit of chew on it, which is uh, pretty important for these kind of shots where I need to stop pretty quickly. I'm gonna set this ball in the middle of my stance, not a lot of shaft lean, feeling like the shaft's quite neutral, aiming at my belly button, and just let those spin treads spin that golf ball. Okay, so that's a super simple shot. Didn't have to change much from the bump and run. It's gonna land on the green soft, not roll out a ton, check up kind of where you want it. So last shot we're gonna go over is a little flop shot. Okay, last little shot here. We're gonna do a flop over this bunker, land on the down slope and have it land soft. It's a pretty scary shot. Grind is super important. So reason I like this uh, club for this shot is it's got a ton of heel relief, which means I can open that face right up. It's 12 degrees of bounce, which generally is quite a bit, meaning it's a rounded bottom. But because it's got that heel relief, I can open it right up. So for this shot, I'm gonna go wide stance, handle, feeling like it's actually pointing slightly behind me, have that face pointing pretty much left side of the green. And then I'm gonna go a lot of speed, make sure I commit all the way through the shot. Don't decel, just let the club pop that ball right up there. Okay, so that was in the rough. It's a little bit past the hole, but it had a ton of spin, it stopped really quick. This is not a shot that I would expect to get up and down every single time. I'm just happy to have a par putt or whatever I'm putting for. With the five different grinds that are available, I highly suggest going to tailormadegolf.ca, find which grind works best for you. I'm super excited about the ATX. It's really gonna benefit my game the rest of the season.